and welcome to day one of Film 4 Fright Fest. Tonight's festival kicks off with the world premiere. <laughs> kicks off with the world premiere of Hatchet 2 by the festival favourite Adam Green and also the vampire thriller with Danny Dyer, Dead Cert. But before we see those, let's catch up with the Fright Fest guys. Welcome to Fright Fest. <laughs> A whole year of pre-planning goes into these things. I mean, people who think that, you know, Fright Fest, once it's finished, it's all over. It's not. It literally starts for us the very next day. It gets bigger and bigger. It's, it's, uh, it's the stress levels just go through the roof. It's a massive Herculean effort by everybody, but everybody knows what, they, what they're doing. We've all got our designated roles within the scheme of things. I let the other guys deal with um, choosing the films. My job is to start gearing the press up and just drumming up the talent, making sure that we've got lots of people here. I'm actually feeling quite relaxed about this one now, to be honest. It was a bit stressful over the last couple of days. But now everyone's here and the fans have turned up. The films are important but the fans make Fright Fest. A lot of people from around the world for this. Such a cross-section of public come along. In year and year we get more people coming, so we always have to put more, more weekend passes for sale. From the regulars, to the newcomers, to the Fright Fest virgins. Fright Fest virgins, hands up. First time out, welcome. If you were just a regular audience member, seeing one film at Fright Fest, you'd think, bloody hell, there's something really exciting going on here. I don't want to miss anything. It started off with a very, very hardcore fan base of people who, who you could say, just liked horror films the best. <laughs> But actually, we've all got a love for a horror film in us. Fright Fest fans are fabulous. We couldn't do this without them. It's almost like a, it's a group holiday. It's like everybody's going to a big summer holiday camp together <laughs> and enjoying films. And that's why we try and make the program as great as we can. We give them the movies they want to see, the people they want to meet. Don't keep the, the, the talent and celebrities exclusive to us. Let's everybody enjoy them. It's a fantastic first night. Three world premieres. <laughs> Hatchet 2, Primal, and uh, Dead Sir. The cast of Dead Sir are all coming, including Felix Dexter, Stephen Burkhoff, Craig Fairbrass. Wow, what a trio <laughs> they are. Is it hot enough in here, though? That's the main question, because I'm absolutely dripping. It must be 9,000 degrees in here. Anyway, go on. Half a band of ballets coming along. We've got Fletcher, Fletcher Dexter. Dexter Fletcher. When I moved to London way back in 1989, he was the very first famous person I met. There's a lot of actors in there's a lot of actors that the audience has been known and recognise and like and playing Dracula. Which is taking me on a bit. Oh, big shoes, big pair of trousers as well, big fangs. It's a gangsters versus vampires film, which is something that hasn't really been done before. When they came to me and said, you know, gangsters, vampires, I was like, you know, no, that's interesting. No one's ever done that before. Oh, vampires, right. Vampires is uh, just sexual, isn't it? Vampires, blood, sucking. Uh, it's all about sex. There just happens to be a stake lying around that I get to use in the film. I've been killed off 26 times. There's no other way they can kill me off. I've been killed so many times in right now. Enjoy it will go to your pieces. Hatchet 2. To kick off, we've got Kane Hodder and Tony Todd. Look at who I get to play with every day. I get to kick at me. I'm like, you know, half of their size. I get to kick the shit out of these big bastards. It was awesome. <laughs> I was speaking to Kane Hodder yesterday morning and he said he's heard so much about the festival when his film was in it, he said he just had to come. My favourite kill from the first movie is Rick and the Ladies had a part like that. There's at least two that are just as good as that. If not both. I wanted to add one thing too. Uh, I totally agree with Tom. You just said to rub me. <laughs> I mean, Adam's working the crowd. Actually, when I did my contract, it was in it that Fright Fest gets to see it first. So this was this was such a joy to get to watch that with you guys. It sounded like you had a, a really good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Between Victor and Jason, I would say Jason would get his ass kicked. <laughs> He's like a, an ambassador for Fright Fest. Everywhere he goes, he says Fright Fest is the best film festival in the world. And I told everybody, you need to come to London. I know it's a far trip. Some of them, they can only be here for like hours. They're only here for this. So don't let me down. You're going to be polite and nice all weekend long for the screenings, but not during this. Be fucking loud, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the 
they're going to go crazy for it in there. I just know that it's going to rip the roof off with some of the murders in there. There's some real inventive new skills in it. It's more violent and gory and splattery than the first movie. It's almost like classical orchestrated gore. Very shy guy named Robert Pettigraff who doesn't care about the limelight or anything. He did some of the best stuff in Hatchet 1. This is Primadio getting her face ripped in half. That was him. And so when it came time to do the sequel, I said, you know, here's your chance. Step up. You should key this movie. And he was like, oh, I don't... I don't even have a garage. I don't even have a shop. How am I going to do it? And I'm like, use your aunt's garage. Like, For Hatchet 2, we're going to make it out of the garage? Yes. And we did. This whole movie was made. <laughs> All the effects were made in a 90-year-old woman's garage. On <laughs> Dolly. We've got another special, you know, surprise plan with him too, which none of the fans know about yet, but they're really going to be knocked out by that one. My next one is actually a very big movie that I'm doing with Chris Columbus. Uh, it's called Killer Pizza, and it's based on a children's book about a boy who gets a job at a pizza place and then learns it's actually a monster hunting organization and he gets recruited in. So in the vein of Goonies, and the vein of Monster Squad, and I'm doing it with Chris Columbus, it's a dream come true. <laughs> The festival is in full swing with the gory glory of Hatchet 2 and Dead Cert. Join us tomorrow when we catch up with Toby Hooper, an amazing horror icon, and check out some more films. <laughs>